Okay, in our final video uh, in our section of auto selection, we're going to cover three things quickly. We're going to cover um, reduce range to selection, which is basically how you do next street analysis. I'll explain that, that in a second. We're also just going to look at uh, custom naming for groups and group weighting. So, uh, reduce range to selection. Um, now, technically, this is something that's up in the tools menu, but it fits better into this section, so I think we're going to cover it now. Uh, this is a very, very useful tool. Um, to basically narrow a range. What's what's a common thing to do, for example, is you're gonna you know, we're gonna start pre flop, here's our opponent's range. You know, um on the flop I think he's going to do this and this and this. Um and you, you know, maybe we we say, right, he's gonna continue with you, you know, you're gonna do your auto selections, so let's just do something really quick and just go, you know, top seventy percent of his range, boom. Okay, so he's going to continue with these hands that we selected uh, when he check calls the flop. Okay, so what we're doing is we're narrowing his range. So now maybe we're going to go on to the turn and we're going to do turn analysis, but we want to take his range and reduce it to what we think fits uh, given the actions he's taken. So to do that, once we've selected some hands into groups, in the tools menu we're going to do set range to selection and we're going to um, reduce his range to we can either do all grouped hands, all hands in group one or all ungrouped hands. Um, commonly you want to do all grouped hands. If you selected, for example, all hands that, that you think matched the actions that he's done, okay, you go set. And as you can see, what this has done is it, it's just removed from the grid. It's removed from the playing field all those hands that we think, well, he can't have because, you know, he check called on the flop and he would check raise or check fold these hands. So here are the hands that he would check called on the flop, okay? Um, you might want to um, reverse this and do all ungrouped hands. If, you know, you're doing your auto selection, you're going, okay, well, let's just select the hands that he's going to fold. You know, he's going to fold, you know, uh, you know, one over card hands and da 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 da. Let's just do something really quick, which might be, say, bottom 30% of hands. Um, then you might do uh, set range to selection ungrouped. And then uh, th this is the same. Um, the alternative, you could just, you know, you could have in inversed it, done the opposite way around. But okay, so there we go. We've removed those hands. Then you might put in the turn card, and then you would start your analysis again. Um, you know, you would then go, okay, so on the turn he did this, you'd select some range, you might reduce the range to selection again, and then you go on to the river. So what we're, what we're doing is creating, uh, uh, reducing it uh, based on its actions to the point where we want to do our analysis on the turn or on the river. Okay, so that's reduce range to selection. It's up here in the output under the tools menu. You can also get to it, I think, from from up here in the menu as well. You can select which uh, group to remove. Um, okay, two other just quick things we're going to mention. Um, is group naming. Uh, if I just go back into history to an interesting point, or uh, let's just remove, okay, let's clear that. Um, as we've seen so far, um, as you select stuff, you know, just take that, just do some quick examples to demonstrate. Um, as you s start putting stuff into groups, then it, it gives them automatic names. Um, this can be useful for reference when you save your analysis or as you go you can see what each group represents. Uh, this is used on the chart here, you can say it's called two pair and one over card. As you make changes, um, you know, it, it goes, you know, one over card and then you've added ace queen suited. Um, you know, one over card but you removed ace two suited. Um, it tries to, as best as possible, you know, come up with good names. Often you might uh, have broader names. For example, in group one, you're selecting all hands that are check calls, you know, and this is going to be more more useful than it's exactly what they represent. So to change the name of a group, you just right click on the group and you go set custom name. Um, it's got default here of what it's got for the name, but maybe we go, you know, check call hands, right? And there you go. That, that's simple. It's just a label. Um, gets shown up in the chart. You know, if you share this analysis on a forum, you save the dot combo file, share it with a friend, you know, your group names will show up here. The other thing that we've got is group weighting. Um, it's it's a fairly simple weighting system. Um, it, it's not uh, as complex as it could be. Um, all it does is you can set one group of hands to be more or less uh, weighted uh, than 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 the other ones this is just it's just based on a decimal value if you go uh, you know we go all group hands represent you know two combinations um 2.0 uh, it just just shows it's just using the output for combo counting um so now you know it goes combos in the complete range of, um 756 but when it's weighted we actually have a thousand combinations because all the ones in group 1 are counted twice um so this might be useful for example you know you might put into group 1 well, only half the time is he going to check all these hands, so then you might put a weighting of 0 0.5, that kind of thing. Um, so there we go. That, um, I think, ties up all the ends for auto-selection.
um, in the final section of the video we're just going it's going to be a much quicker section of the video manual we're just going to look at some of the options in the output tab just going to exhaustively go through everything available but uh, yeah there you have it thanks for watching and um, we pretty much covered all the you know main features of doing auto selection so you should be able to now you know go away and, and know all the tools available to you okay see you in part three